This video posted to social media on Saturday shows the moment a rocket hit a football pitch in the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. The strike in the village of Majdal Shams killed around a dozen people, including children, Israeli authorities said. It was the deadliest strike in Israel or Israeli annexed territory since the start of the conflict in Gaza. This evening, Israeli authorities blamed the Iran-backed Lebanese group Hezbollah, vowing a response. The Israeli ambulance service said around a dozen more people were wounded in the blast. Hezbollah denied any responsibility for the strike in a statement. The group had earlier announced several rocket attacks targeting Israeli military positions in other locations from Lebanon. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who was due to head back from the U.S. to Israel overnight on Saturday, said he would bring his flight forward and convene his security cabinet upon arrival. Hezbollah and Israel have been trading fire in areas at or near the Lebanese-Israeli border since the eruption of the Gaza war. It's stirred fears of a full-blown conflict between the heavily armed adversaries. The Israeli-occupied Golan Heights was part of Syria until 1967, when Israel captured most of the area in the Middle East War, annexing it in 1981. That unilateral annexation was not recognized by most countries, and Syria demands the return of the territory.